the United States quickly developed ghost drones for Ukraine. The Pentagon said on Thursday that newly disclosed ghost drones that are part of America's latest arms package for Ukraine were developed by the U.S. Air Force for attacking targets and are destroyed after a single use. As Moscow tries to salvage its nearly two-month-old campaign in eastern Ukraine, the U.S. and its allies have increased arms shipments to Kiev. Ukrainian forces have effectively targeted Russian positions using Western weapons such as Stinger and Javelin missiles, as well as drones such as the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 and U.S.-made Switchblade. The White House announced earlier on Thursday that Ukraine would receive over 121 Phoenix Ghost tactical unmanned aerial systems as part of the new arms package. The Ghost drones, according to the Pentagon, are well suited for the upcoming battle in Ukraine's Donbass region, which officials have described as flat terrain resembling Kansas in the United States. It was developed for a set of requirements that very closely match what the Ukrainians need right now in Donbass, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said, without going into further detail. Little else is known about the drones, including their range and precision capabilities, and Kirby declined to provide any additional information. Nonetheless, he stated that they were primarily intended for striking targets. Of course, it can also be used to provide you with a visual representation of what it is seeing. However, its primary focus is on attack, Kirby stated. A small number of Ukrainians have been trained in the United States to use switchblade drones, which are one-time use weapons that fly into their targets and detonate on impact. Kirby stated that training for the ghost drones would be similar to switchblade training. However, he refused to go into specifics about training plans or how many Ukrainians would be trained on the new system. Ukraine has yet to receive the ghost drones. Earlier on Thursday, Kirby stated that the drones had been developed quickly for Ukraine. Later, at a press conference, he clarified that development had begun prior to the Russian invasion on February 24. However, we will continue to move that development in ways that are attuned to Ukrainian requirements for tactical unmanned aerial systems in eastern Ukraine, Kirby said.